What's the matter? You look like you've seen a ghost. The Striders. I couldn't hold them back. And then the dirty paws showed up. <laughs> the Whistlers. Uh, yeah, the Whistlers. Anyway, I was sure they would kill me. But they didn't. Actually, I think they tried to... Help you? Yeah. You know, all those stories you've been fed are not to be trusted. How do you know? Because I am one of those dirty paws you're all so afraid of. Although I prefer to be called by our rightful name. Care for a cup? That beloved dandelion of yours spat its poison into the sea. Eventually, it reached our lands. Big, nasty blobs that crawled onto our fields and destroyed our crops. We sent message after message to make you understand the damage you were causing, but you wouldn't listen. So eventually, we took matters into our own hands. What did you do? We realized we had to stop the gloom ourselves by sabotaging the Dandelion's main conduit. Our boat got hit just after midnight. Three of us were killed immediately, and one lived long enough to say his prayers. I was crying like a babe, but having no wound severe enough to stop me, I kept going. Just before dawn, I reached my target. It was all up to me now. Our scientists had devised a fluid that was meant to drip into the heart of the dandelion and stop the machinery from running. Our mission was to pump it into one of the central vents, and that's what I did. I pumped the fluid in, plugged the vent, and I left. I didn't look back at first. The only thing I could think of was getting away. But then, when I turned my head, the entire thing had turned into a monster. Gloom shooting out like fountains of black saliva. I remember thinking of hundred-armed octopuses and giant spiders, mythological creatures from my childhood stories. Then came a deafening thunder. The whole thing started to burst. Well, I guess you know the rest. The ground cracked, the ocean roared, and Strandville was lost in the deep. After what I caused, I couldn't bear to face anyone, so I settled here. How did you survive the explosion? All I know is that I passed out. When I woke up, the sea was calm, but the city was gone, and the people. All we wanted was to put an end to our misery, you understand? I followed the instructions, but it didn't work out. It didn't... Sweet mother of sparks, I should have died with the others. You tried to save your people. You didn't know this would happen. You're very kind. Just like your mother. My... My mother. <laughs> She was my friend, the bravest person I ever met. She listened to us, even after the flood. She believed me when I told her that we never meant any harm. She even wanted to help me put things right, so we set out to try and fix the damage I'd caused. But we never... She never... She was investigating methods to change the behavior of the gloom. One day she came to my hideout, looking for clues, as she put it. I told her to get lost. She wasn't easily scared. Like mother, like kid, I guess. She had been breeding flowers, you see. Some kind of modified version of the night weaver. An herb we grow back home. She had learned that its roots could bind the gloom back into the weave rock and stop it from spreading. She wanted me to take her to the pipe that started the rupture. Her idea was to pour some spark-induced night weaver seeds into the central vent turned the dandelion into a sort of mending machine. Don't ask me about the science. That was her forte. So you went back there? Yes, child. She even made us go inside. She said it was crucial. I refused at first, but your mother was a very convincing woman. And I know you won't believe me when I tell you this, 
But it was as though the gloom felt threatened by us. Your mother fought for her life. I lost my right leg trying to save her, and I'd gladly give my left too, if that could bring her back. Since then, the gloom has kept spreading, like the plague it is. Is there nothing left to do? The airship manages to fight it off to some extent, using spores from the Nightweaver. But we have nowhere near what would be needed to fight it off forever. What about this? By all sparks. Where did you get that? We have to get you to the airship. You have to show them! The, the airship! They're gonna shoot it down! What? Who? That machine Cassius was talking about. It's a spark weapon to shoot down the pu the Whistler's barge. Oh, those fools! May the gloom drown them! Curse all of them and their trigger-happy fingers! They're nothing but a bunch of short-sighted idiots! You must stop them, do you understand? Do whatever it takes to keep those morons from firing. Then you have to find Moira. Just follow the barge. Moira? The Whistler's leader. She's the only one who can make use of that seed. Now go!
Blowtorch, please. Now, what's taking that girl so long? She knows I'm not fond of waiting. Stop! Stop! Oh, Sigrid. Nice to see that you made it back safely. The paws don't control the gloom. They make it flower. Huh. <sighs> make it flower? What are you rambling on about? Grandma, I know what happened to Mom. She... She died. Trying to save us. Pause. No, you don't understand. She and Rufus wanted to stop the gloom from spreading. They tried to make it into the dandelion, but the gloom got her. He tried to save her, but... You have a kind heart, Siggy. But you must stop believing everything people tell you. You are just like your mother in that respect. And if you think I'll let us all meet our maker because of the words of some driveling bum, you are gravely mistaken. But he... Even if he was telling the truth, your mother wouldn't have been in any danger if she had kept away from him in the first place. What gives you the right to always judge people like that? They were trying to save us! Sigrid, Sigrid. We all understand you're upset. All this stress would get the better of anyone. And you're just a kid. No wonder you've lost your head. Now, why don't you go have a light out? And let us take care of things. Don't touch me! Manners, young lady. I only want to help. You want to destroy! That's what you want! That's what all of you want! Gloom you! Shrimps? Shrimpy! <sighs> well, you know how teenagers are, Doris. I wasn't all that easy myself, was I? Leave her. She just needs to walk it off. And we have very important things to attend to. and you fire at me. Tell me you're joking. Have you lost your wits? You crazy, stubborn, disobedient... Nobody does anything until I give the order, is that clear? Stay where you are, Sigrid. I'm coming to get you. This island, the barge is just above it, and it's... it's... Grandma, there are flowers here. I think I see apples. No. No, that's not possible. I... Are you sure? It, it's just like the stories you've told me. I... never thought I... Secret, my dear. You are brave. I give you that. But we simply cannot conform our actions to a child's foolish whims. I have been your dad for helping us come such a long way. But now, it's time to finish what we've started. I am truly sorry, child. No! Don't shoot! I have to, Sigrid. It is my duty to do so. Our people want this, and I will not be stopped. The best you can do is try and save yourself.
three, four, five. Oh, thank the sparks you're all here. Plus one extra, it seems. Are you a Stranvillian? I I am, but I I didn't want this. This wasn't the plan. I I tried to stop them. Oh, so this is how it ends. Stranville destroying everything for good. Are are you Moira? I was told to come see you. I want to put things right. There's nothing you can do, girl. Take my advice and go home while it still exists. A night weaver seed? But it's so big. It's been modified. My mother invented the technique. I was told you may know how to use it. Well, if it has all the right qualities. But if there is only one, I don't think we can- If you touch her, you're dead! You hear me? Take your dirty paws off my girl! Who is that? Put that away, Grandma! I'm not letting them have you too! I have to- The only thing you have to do right now is shut up for a while! Sigrid, I- I tried to tell you before! You wouldn't listen then, but you will listen now! To me and to Moira! Moira? THE Moira? The very same. And on that ship was our last chance to keep the gloom away, until your granddaughter came along. Sigrid? How is she involved in all this? She shouldn't- We're using a plant called Nightweaver. Its roots have the ability to tie down gloom. We've been shooting out spores from our airship day and night since that great wave came. But it barely kept the gloom from taking over. And now, some geniuses decided to shoot that very ship down. You're blaming us for trying to defend ourselves? Your people attacked us! You declared war on us! You think we wanted war? You gave us no choice! Well, why didn't you just talk to us about- There's no point in talking if no one will listen. We tried talking to you, both before and after the war. We tried sending messages, we tried sending messengers, and you repeatedly chose not to listen. Too high up on your pedestals with your riches to care about anyone below you. You ripped up the ground we walk on with your cursed drills and sent your own city into the deep. Well, it takes two to tango, my late husband always said. You blew up the dandelion. Before that, the city was- I'm sure there was a time for talking, but that time is not now. You're not gonna fight the gloom off by quarreling. Mom used to have this, did you know that? It's a seed from the Night Weaver. Moira says we might be able to use it. Iris? Why did she have There's to- There's no time to explain. Right now, you just have to trust us. You have to trust me. <sighs> so you're saying that this seed could eliminate the gloom? It has the right properties. But one is not enough, I'm afraid. How does it work? It's no ordinary seed. It's infused with sparks. That's what Lupus told me. Mom invented the technique. Well, how about we boost it some more? After all, we do have a spark cannon. Rufus and Mom tried to take the seeds into the dandelion. They wanted to spread them through the gloom pipes, tried to make it inside through one of them. Well, I'd rather try something that fails than nothing at all. I think I know the place he referred to. I'll show you the way. Cassius, recharge the cannon. We have some planting to do. We have some what to do? Just start recharging and keep Cloud out of action. <laughs> My pleasure, Doris. My pleasure. All right. Now would you help me get to that pipe?
You've done it? As long as my back would let me. A while longer, to be honest. But they shouldn't be here in our world. When Strandville drilled for Weave Rock year after year, the Earth's mantle cracked, and the rifts went all the way down to their domain. And if we don't repair what has been dis- So, a shadow came to you, too? Yes. My oldest daughter. We lost her during the war. When the shadow came around, I just knew it was her. You do too, right, Sigrid? You know who has come to you. I think so. I just couldn't believe it. But it feels like her. Wait, are you saying that thing is my daughter? A shadow of your daughter, at least. A body for a soul who needs to make contact. <sighs> This is it. This is... This is where I was... <coughs>
working on it. You think I've found another way in? I'm coming after you! The Dandelion Core!
done. Deep breaths, my darling. <laughs> That's fire. Dance the dance. Very sad, man. We are still far from shore. Know that I've got you. She's at peace now, don't you think? What's the matter with Anita? Easy, Doris. Nothing's wrong with her. I just thought it rude to leave an old lady in distress. I have a feeling that particular lady knows how to take care of herself. We did it, y'all. We sparkin' did it. <laughs> Whoa, look at these weeds. Solid stuff. I've never walked on ground that wasn't rock or sand. You did well, all of you. Eventually. And without you, my dear girl, we never would have made it. I saw right away that she was made of the right stuff. Bravest little pirate there ever was. Isn't she, Doris? <sighs> Sigrid. You've done such... <sighs> Why can't I just do this? Grandma, I... No, I have to do this. <sighs> when Iris was a kid, John always took care of the mushy stuff. But when he wasn't around anymore and we lost Iris, when it was just you and me, I didn't know how to handle my own feelings, much less yours. I put a roof over your head, fried some herring for dinner, and wiped your nose. But the rest... I just couldn't... I... <sighs> I'm so sorry, Shrimpy. You didn't only feed me. You taught me how to use a wrench. And a hammer. And a blowtorch. I'm not sure you can say you've learned to use something when you've almost burned the house down with it a few weeks ago. You might be right about that. Uh, I guess we'll have to keep practicing. Both that and the mushy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. So, what do we do now, now, now that we won? This isn't a victory. It's a second chance. The girl is right. This is where the real work begins. We have ground to walk upon, but we need to learn how to cultivate it without depleting it. The rifts are sealed, but we still have to get rid of the rest of that wretched gloom. How long will it take to fix this? When will everything be back to normal? 
There's no fixed, dear. And I don't think any one of us knows what normal is anymore. It's a lifetime's work. What we end up with, only time can tell. As long as no new fools come around and start ruining things, I'm sure we can keep things in order. <sighs> Untie me, you wretched cretin! I demand to be released! I'm afraid I can't do that, sir, but if you just allow me to... Word from Candle Hill. Seems the plants are growing there, too. Apparently, a big stem of some kind has pierced right through the canteen. Get some rest, folks. Then we have work to do. There we go, baby. That was a beautiful fucking ending. Damn. Man, this is a good game. I really want to explore the world more. I hope that I can come back in and do a couple more missions. I never got to surf that one mother trucker and I never found everyone in the game map so yeah man I was on a mission to save my my world I wasn't trying to play around and fuck around I'm trying to really save this bitch but definitely a cool game fun game heartwarming game really gonna touch you in your feels and I'll definitely play this game again in a couple months maybe in well maybe not a couple months but maybe like a year I'll come back and play this game Really good indie indie game. Shout out to the people who made this games like John is Johnson, Andre Johnson, Jesper Olufsen. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But all right, y'all. Another one down. Wave tail. Quick little game. Do wish it was a bit longer. Felt really short. Only like four or five hour game, but beautiful nonetheless, man. Peace and love, everybody. Comment down below what game I should play next. And let's get it, baby. Take care. Summer 2024.